Americans on both sides of the Colorado River in Bullhead City and Laughlin are getting ready to celebrate a brand new bridge that is expected to open up in early June. It's a, it's a bridge that not only crosses state lines, it has uh, state local issues, it has federal government issues. This is collaboration with everyone from the Coast Guard to Interior to both counties, uh, the city of Bullhead, uh, and of course Clark County leading the way. Residents on both sides of the river are looking forward to the upcoming June 7th grand opening of the long-awaited new bridge, including longtime Laughlin resident, home and business developer Robert Bilbray. This one really will impact the whole circulation in three states, and it'll do it very quickly, I think. Bill Bray, who moved to Laughlin in 1985 before the first Don Laughlin Bridge was constructed, believes the new bridge will reshape driving patterns in the Laughlin Bullhead City region. The long awaited new bridge is already spurring new economic development with a brand new master plan golf course community planned on the Arizona side of the river. It involves two Jack Nicholas golf courses, a four star hotel, and related uh, commercial resort commercial and uh, approximately 1,100 1, homes. That new development is called Emerald Bay and will include up to 310 high-end riverfront homes, 105 golf villas, and up to 600 condo units, and much more. But some longtime residents in the Bullhead City area are not happy with the massive planned development next to the new bridge. This is not going to make the city the same. It's going to change it drastically. Maybe for the good, maybe. But I'm telling you right now, it's going to change it drastically. Meanwhile, on the Nevada side of the shiny new bridge, no new development is planned anytime soon. 5,100 acres of Nevada for development. That 5,100 acres is currently uh, held by Clark County in trust for the Laughlin Township. I reached out to Clark County on what their short and long-term plans are for the Laughlin Land Trust near the new bridge, and they stated in an email, quote, there are plans long-term to develop it, but we don't have any details we can provide today. You said there were 5,000 acres under Clark County Trust. Have you heard of anything about when they're going to potentially open that up for development? Well, for some reason, it's, it's you know, Clark County is a little more complicated and takes a a little more time. While Clark County is in no hurry to develop the land on its side of the river, Bill Bray remains optimistic for the future of Laughlin with the new bridge opening early next month. What do you want to say to the communities on both sides of the river regarding this bridge? Congratulations. It's something they should really both enjoy. All three states can are going to materially be affected by this bridge. I'm Ken Smith, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.